Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. It's Claytano. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. And today's video is going to be on my Baby Europe server account. Finally, I haven't made a video on it in a really long time, but today is the day because I was actually playing it on stream today and something amazing happened, which I'll show you guys here in just a second. Um, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. I haven't actually played my Europe server account for about uh, three weeks or so because I've been out of town. I've just been trying to get back into things. I've been really busy to even play uh, a second account but I finally played it and some great things happen now real quick though before we get into the video and showing you guys exactly what happened um, if you haven't already make sure you guys are registering for MOGA Expo okay if you don't know what MOGA Expo is it's the world's first mobile gaming convention that's gonna feature games such as Clash Royale Fortnite mobile summoners war and um, and a few other ones as well, Hearthstone and, and things like that. So it's gonna be really fun. It's in August on the 11th and 12th at the Anaheim Convention Center. You guys can pre-register for your tickets now, absolutely free of charge to go, as long as you pre-register right now. Also, if you do pre-register, then you could enter in to win a chance to win like thousands of dollars of gift cards. So make sure you guys do it because it's completely free. If you don't live in the area, just register because you never know if you might be able to make it and you can still win regardless if you happen to go or not. Of course, we would love you to go, but if not, it's perfectly fine. I'll put a link to it in the description below, so make sure you guys hit that registration button. It means a lot. Um, I'm also having a lot of other influencers from the Summer's World community being there as well, so make sure you guys come check it out. All right, so first off though, I wanna show you guys my reaction to summoning this monster right here, okay? Now, this is my baby account. This is my first Nat 5 on this Europe account. And I had a little bit mixed feelings about it when I summoned it. Um, but go ahead and take a look at the footage of me summoning it on stream at twitch.tv slash Claytano. And uh, we'll be right back after that. All right, win mummy. I don't need that. What? The lightning rates? What? What? Dude. Yes, I, I turned the pain wind music off, but hell yeah, dude. Hell yes. This is my ticket. This is my free to win ticket. What? What? <laughs> yes. All right. Now, now what? Now what do we do? Now what do we do? We summoned, uh, yeah, it's my first five star. I can't believe I summoned my first five star. Live on stream. T-Swift playing in the background. Dang, feels good, man. Feels so good. It feels really good. And, and it's also a decent nap five to start off with, because it's, it's very tanky. It's very tanky. His passive helps himself be tanky. Uh, he does, he's not like a. He's not the best one. I think the best Nat 5 that I could have started off with would have been Teshar. But, I mean, it's so nice. I haven't even summoned that much on this account. And, like, this is a welcome back Nat 5. So easy. So good. I gotta summon a couple more. What if I get another one? Back to back, Nat 5s? There's no way. Even just thinking about getting a back to back Nat 5 is probably setting myself up for disappointment. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna even ask for it. Chilling? Okay. Chilling's okay. Chilling is okay. What if that was another Nat 5? Like, Fire Monkey King. Okay, okay. Nothing, nothing else. That's it. That's all we got. Alright, so pretty, pretty excited, right? Now, the reason why I had mixed feelings about it was because I wanted this account to be super free to play so that way I could show you guys doing different teams with, like, no towers, no good monsters or anything like that. And I, at, for one second, thought about feeding it. But I was like, no, I should just play it. 
the stream said I should play it. Just keep the Monkey King. Do it, you know, <laughs> do it from the beginning with the Monkey King. Guys, I got an F5 level 24, super free to play. You know, why can't everybody do that? It's, it's super easy. It's like people can play it all. They're playing Summoner's War for five years and haven't gotten a single Nat 5. Uh, maybe you're doing it wrong. You gotta summon. I, I had 225 crystals. Put that baby all into a pack. Summon this bad boy. Um, I also got Chilling as well, which is a pretty good pull. There he is right there. I don't know why it's sorted by level. But yeah, there's my Chilling there as well. Um, I also accidentally 5-starred a Rainbow Mon instead of like 5-starring one of my other monsters that I should be using instead, like my Bernard or something else, or Konamiya or Shannon or even Tark. But I'm actually going to switch out Tark for my Wind Monkey King. So when I do my uh, dungeon runs, it's always going to be Wind Monkey King, of course, because he's so good. Um, it's actually a really great monster to have starting out. Not the best, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the best, but it's actually a really great monster to have starting out. The reason why is because it's a wind element. So not every wind element in Nat 5 is gonna be perfect starting out because you can get something stupid like Tiana or Triton, which aren't really gonna help you early game, but at least you get them out of the way because you're gonna need them late game. But they're not they're they're not very good early game. Let's just be, let's just leave it at that. Uh, so, win Monkey King though, he's win attribute, I can use him in my Giants v10 team, I can use him, which I was planning to do, is farming Swift Runes from Mount Ragoon, and, uh, or Mount White Ragon, I don't know what you guys want to pronounce it, I, I don't know, but, uh, what I was planning to do is farming Swift Runes here, playing Hell Mode on, uh, on Peak, right? number six. So I'm gonna go ahead and farm this up, get as many swift runes as I can, and then I'm gonna put them on my monsters that I'm gonna use in my GB10 team, and that'll give me enough stats basically using uh, these four monsters, and then I was gonna have Tark in there, but instead I'm gonna switch in Wind to Monkey King, and this will be enough to fight GB10, and I'll show you guys that video once I get everybody leveled up and uh, awakened. Of course, I gotta awaken my uh, Monkey King, but the nice thing about Monkey King is that he awakens into plus 15 speed, so his rune requirements at a low stage are very, very low. Um, I got this nice crit, nice crit damage rune. His crit rate's gonna be a little low at 59%. I don't really have any other way to get it up right now, but I do have some runes that I can switch out eventually with some crit rate once I get to that point. Plus, I'll have about 240 speed total when it's all said and done. And I don't know, I think it's I think it's pretty decent for a level 24 to have it. Look, and somebody else just got a Monkey King. Oh, it's a Fire one. Fire one, I would have been super happy with as well. Uh, even the water one would have been fun because I don't have that on any of my other accounts. Uh, but I have I have plenty of Wind Monkey Kings. I just don't have a water one on any of them. So that would have been fun to kind of mess around with. But uh, we got the Wind one, which is really good. I'm really happy about it. Hope you guys are as well. That's really all I wanted to tell you guys about the video. Hopefully you guys are getting ready for the anniversary HOH as well, which I happen to be uh, you know, super excited about on my main account. I'm gonna farm Lynette because I want to get my uh, my Iris max skill, so I'm happy about that. Uh, on this account, I'll probably also farm Lynette. Yeah, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't get Lynette. Um, I was thinking about, you know, Suter, Ryan, Cichlid, and Brig, but no, definitely, definitely Lynette. There's there's no other monster that I can get on this account besides Lynette to help me out. And if you guys are kind of in a similar place in the game as me, then uh, on, on this account, then I would definitely recommend Lynette as well because Brig is, Brig is nice and all, but Lynette gives a little bit more value in dungeon teams, okay? Uh, but that's really it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to register for Moga Expo. It's going to be so much fun. I'd love to see you guys all there and meet you guys in person. Aside from that, though, stay soupy. Don't be potatoes. Good luck on your summons as well. Hopefully you guys have as great a luck as I did on this account already. And I will see you guys next time. All right, peace. Oh